In the previous video, I demonstrated how to write code for the default event of a Delphi object. In this video, I will demonstrate how to write code for some of the additional events of a Delphi object. I want you to do this exercise with me. Again, you must do exactly what I'm doing on the screen. Some of the code that I type are just for the purpose of completing and testing our events. I will explain the purpose of these statements, but if they do not make sense to you now, don't be alarmed. The code will start to make sense later in this course. For now, you must just understand the lesson about events and event handlers. In previous lessons, you worked on a program called Contact Information. We are going to continue with that application. If you do not have the program called Contact Information open in Delphi, you must first open it. This is how it looks so far. We already have code for the on-click event of the display button. We learned that on-click is the default event of a button object. In this video, we are going to look at some of the additional events of the display button. Let's start off by looking at the code in the forms unit again. Click the code tab here at the bottom of the IDE. Let's investigate the code in the editor again. Here, in the interface section, we have a statement that declares a procedure called btn display click. And here, in the implementation section, we implement the code for the procedure called btn display click. This procedure is also the event handler for the onclick event of btn display. If the name of btn display is not visible in the object inspector, drop the list on the top down and select btn display. Click on the events tab to display the list of events available for the button. Here we see again that the event handler with the name btn display click is linked to the button's on click event. We also see many other events that the button can respond to. Some events respond to keyboard actions like on key up, on key down, on key press and so on. There are also events that respond to mouse actions like on mouse enter, on mouse leave, on mouse move and some others. The names of these events are quite descriptive, so it is easy to figure out when they are triggered. It can be a lot of fun to explore some of these events. There are too many to try out in a course like this, so I suggest that you explore them whenever you have time. Let's run the application, then I'll explain what we want to do in this lesson. Click the run button. At the moment our display button only has code for the on-click event. We coded that in unit 8.2. Click the display button. You should get this message box informing you that you click the display button. Click the OK button to close the message box. OK, let me explain what we want to do next. The caption here in the button is the word display. When we move our mouse pointer over this button, it must stretch a little bit and the caption must read click to display. It means that this must happen when the mouse pointer enters the borders of the button. Let's go and try that. Click the close button to return to design time. Click the design tab to view your graphical user interface. Select the display button. Click the properties tab of the object inspector. Look here in the object inspector for the width property. My button's width is 75. If you created your application exactly like mine, your button's width will also be 75. If yours differ, just make a mental note of the width or write it down somewhere. Also make a note of the left property of the button. Mine is 15. That's the distance from the left side of the button to the left border of the panel that contains it. We need to know these settings because we want to change the width of the button when the mouse pointer moves over the button. Click on the code tab to view the code editor. Click here in the events tab of the object inspector. Make sure these are the events for BTN display. Ok, let's figure this out now. Here in the list of the events is an event handler named on mouse enter. The cell next to it is empty, so it is not currently linked to an event handler. Double click inside the empty cell. Delphi creates this event handler called btn mouse enter that is now linked to the on mouse enter event of btn display. If you scroll up a little bit, you will also see that Delphi created the procedure in the interface section. 
Now type the following code here between the begin and end statements of the new event handler. Etn display dot left colon equals 5 and end the instruction with a semicolon. When we looked at the button's left property a few moments ago, it was 15. Because we want to change the width of the button, we need to move it slightly so that it still fits inside the panel. This statement changes the left property from 15 to 5. Don't worry about the things like the colon, equals and semicolon now. I'll explain it in the next video. Press the Enter key. On the next line type btn display dot width colon equals 90 and enter instruction with a semicolon. A few moments ago we saw that the button's width is 75. This statement changes it to 90. Press enter again. On this line type btn display dot caption colon equals click to display and that must be surrounded by inverted commas and end your instruction with a semicolon. The button's caption is currently display. This statement will change it to click to display. Click the run button again. Move your mouse pointer slowly to the display button. As soon as the mouse pointer moves over the border of the button, the button's width and caption changes. Click the button. You must get the message box again. So now the button responds to two different events at different times. It responds to the on mouse enter event as soon as the mouse enters its border and it responds to the default on click event when you click it. Click the OK button to close the message box. The display button doesn't change back to its original state when the mouse leaves its border. Let's also write code to change it back when the mouse leaves. Click the close button to return to the code editor in design time. Go to the events tab and double click inside the cell next to the on mouse leave event. Delphi creates a new event handler called btn display mouse leave. Write the following code between the begin and end statements of the new event handler. btn display dot left colon equals 15 semicolon. This statement changes the left property back to 15. Press the enter key. On the next line type btn display dot width colon equals 75 and the semicolon. This instruction sets the width property back to its original value of 75. Press enter again. On this line type btn display dot caption colon equals inverted comma display another inverted comma and the semicolon. This changes the caption back to the word display. These three statements will execute when the mouse leaves the borders of the button. Run your program again. Move slowly to the display button again. As soon as the mouse pointer touches the borders of the button, the width, left and caption properties are changed. Now move the mouse pointer away from the button. And there you see, the button changes back to its original state the close button to return to design time. And that is how you create event handlers for additional events of an object. We will work on this application in future lessons. Click the save all button in the toolbar to save your work. In this tutorial you change properties like width, left and caption in code. In the next video I'll give more detailed lessons about changing properties in code. I'll talk to you again in the next video.